What's up, Hustle Gang? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm talking about things that can get you fired while working at a cannabis dispensary. Now, I am in the same outfit that I was in the last video, but that's because I'm recording two videos in one day. Yes, two videos in one day. Hustle Gang. That's that's why I'm part of Hustle Gang. If you want to know some of these tips, um, what not to do while working at a cannabis dispensary that can get you fired, stay tuned. Tip number one, coming in late. Yes, just like any other job, coming in late can get you fired. Most jobs give you warnings, uh, so do shops. I remember coming in tardy a few times and shops would hold my tips for a few days. Be careful because that can add up, as you can see. Also, if you're running late, be sure to text your manager. Tip number two, leaving early. Leaving early too many times can get you in trouble. Finish out your full shift that you are required to work. To be honest, the only job I ever had perfect attendance was probably working at weed shops. They don't play around and when they hold on your money and you expect that at the end of your shift, like cash, you won't be playing around either. Like getting paid at the end of your shift will keep you motivated. So running late, tardy calling out, it will add up. So getting cash at the end of your shift does keep you motivated. You know, money keeps you motivated. Plus, this is not your regular nine to five money. The more shifts you work, the more money you make. Tip number three, overweighing slash underweighing. I once almost got fired for overweighing. Uh, if you wanna watch that video, I told um, that story on YouTube, you can click this iCart at the top, the corner. Be sure that you are weighing correctly, guys. Always double check your work. Um, when you are weighing out medication, give it like a minute or so to actually weigh out correctly and make sure that it's the correct weight because you know it could go up and down. Some customers come back saying that you underweigh them. Now, it's like you don't know if they're lying or telling the truth, but customers are always right. So you would have to take their word, I guess. Who knows if they stole some, took some out, but Usually they come back, like they have a weight in their car and they will weigh it and then come back in and say, oh, you underweighed me, this is short, I'm short, you know? So double check your weights. Tip number four, stealing. Tip number four, do not be stealing from these shops, y'all. Listen, y'all better not be stealing from these shops. Like there is cameras everywhere, you are being watched. Shops literally will watch you from their phone, like the managers, they can literally log in and watch you. I would not recommend it. More than likely, the shop will press charges against you. It's not worth it. Like, why would people do that? I've known people that's done that. It's not worth it. Plus, the security guards, they're usually on the clock, round, checking 24-7. Like I said, shops have security guards guard the shops overnight. Like, that's how serious it is, this business. Girls get fired every day, B. Every day. <laughs> Tip number five. Doing everybody on the job. Let me explain, let me explain. I know some girls that mess around with the security guards, but it's not worth losing your job. You mess around with a security guard, the next day they got a new girl, she messing around with them, you probably gonna wanna fire her. It's not worth it, like don't talk to nobody at your job. I've never talked to any employee at any of my jobs, it's not worth it, but I, I'm telling you right now, do not do it. Save the drama for your mama. Tip number six, being petty. Girls will be girls. Like I said before, go to work to make your money and then go home. Um, I'm a family person, literally I am, but I don't really talk too many girls now from the shop. I'll probably follow them on social media, but I'm not really buddy-buddy with them, you know? Like, I don't know, I, I gotta keep my guard up. So be careful with being friends with girls. If you're friendly, cool, make your friends if you want. Um, but I didn't heard some stories, so be careful who you put in your circle. Tip number seven, being slow, like working slow in this industry. Working in this industry requires quickness and learning to adapt fast. Being slow on the registered will get you fired. Like I, like one thing I do remember, like working at these jobs, like I was quick on the register. Like I ring you up next, ring you up next, what else do you need, like you know? So I try to be quick as possible because you gotta get these people is customers in and out the door, quick. Tip number eight, not having good customer service. Just like any other job, customer service is number one, is key, is important. Try your best to accommodate the customer if they are complaining. Don't argue with them. Um, if you feel uncomfortable, call a manager. There will be times where a customer is yelling at me. Um, I'll try to solve it. If, if I can't solve it, 
I'm like, okay, just give me one second. Hold on. I'm about to get the manager because I'm not dealing with this. Like, you know, like, I'll pass you over to the manager because it's, it's not worth it. All right, guys, so these are my eight tips uh, you should be careful with to not get fired while working at a cannabis dispensary. I try my best to create uh, cannabis content for you guys as far as like getting into this industry and while working at one. I'm no longer am a butt tender, but I'm still helping people one by one, day by day. Be sure to follow my cannabis socials down below. That will be in the description. Um, I also will pin the comment. I also still have my cannabis job package available if you're looking to get in this industry and you don't know where to start or if you have no experience whatsoever, this cannabis job package is helpful to help you get hired as soon as possible. Pretty much the things I wish I knew when I had my first interview because like I said, I was lost. So be sure to check the pinned comment in the comment section where you can join my Cannabis Helper Facebook group, follow my Cannabis Helper Instagram, um, and then you can check out my cannabis job package if you want to um, get a preview of that. I also have a 99 cents, so pretty much like a dollar. I made a dollar cannabis dispensary mini interview for you guys. It's like a template, pretty much questions that they will ask you in the interview or um, the main thing you should know on the floor. So go ahead and check that out. That will be down below. Be sure to comment down below if you want more videos like this and be sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and turn on post notifications so you are aware and notified when I do post on YouTube. Also, leave any video ideas for me in the comments as well. Um, I think I touched every subject. I'm still trying to create more content for you guys. But if you have any other questions, um, comment down below and I'll try my best to answer them or make a video about them. Alright guys, thanks for watching. It's the end of my video. Peace!